You know, when you're trying to start over in life, a safe home is a basic need. The lack of affordable housing units in the mid state puts human trafficking survivors in a bind. As News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen explains, the nonprofit Thistle Farms has launched a new program to help. Most of the beads are glass. I also work with metal. Making jewelry is Charlotta Gupton's passion. If I'm anxious or feeling bothered, when I go in and I work on the beads, it literally just relaxes me. Because She's a Thistle Farms graduate. I feel blessed and I feel amazed. The nonprofit helps sex trafficking survivors and women who were healing from addiction and prostitution. I felt like life was literally coming to an end in a sort of way. I couldn't picture myself in a growing environment and in, in an environment where I was actually thriving. For two years, they're given free housing. Home is where the heart heals. But another building block was needed affordable apartments for the transition back into the real world. That's why CEO Hal Cato says they bought these units to rent to women like Charletta. The only way Nashville is going to get out of this crisis is if we all lean in and do our part. So Thistle Farms, this is just a drop in the bucket. Originally, he feared survivors would fall back into their old way of life due to rising rent. Hopefully our next project is going to create homeowners rather than than renters. So far, Charletta loves her new apartment. This is a very healing space for me. Before the unit was available, she feared she was going to have to lean on her son for help. To choose between rent and food is not a fun place for anybody to be. With a safe place to lay her head at night, she's now taking steps to expand her jewelry business. Ah, oh, I'm home. <laughs> Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Thanks, Alexandra. Charletta says a designer will help her post her jewelry for sale on Etsy. Her company, by the way, is called Originals by Charletta.